Hey everybody, it's Katie from Ray & Company Face Painting and Body Art and the Ray & Co Insiders channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing this blue bunny for Easter. So let me show you what we'll be working with today. I'll just drag it all out over here so you can kind of get the lay of the land. And then we'll go through it sort of step by step here. Over there. And that, I think that is about it. Okay, so I have a small mister bottle here to activate paint, which is a uh, you know, buck or two at your local big box store. I've got some sponges that I'll be using today. I like these uh, teardrop sponges by Always Wicked Art. And then these are some half round sponges that I picked up at sillyfarm.com. So they're high density sponges and they work really well for face painting. I've got some extra white and black. This is a tag regular white and tag regular black. Um, and these are wax based, paraffin wax based paints that are really good for line work. So we'll set those over here by our other paint. Um, the special sort of paint that I'm using today, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's called one stroke. Cake. So if you're not familiar with that, it's called a one stroke or a split cake. And today's one that I'm going to be using is Blue Bonnet. Um, this is an arty brush cake by, again, sillyfarm.com. Um, so this is Blue Bonnet by Silly Farm. It's going to be super pretty. All right. And then four brushes today that I'll be using. So let me pick those up. So I've got a... Um, Filbert brush. It's called the Big Drop brush. This is Paint Pal. I've got another, well all the pink handled ones are Paint Pal. And so I've got the small uh, Filbert brush by them. It's called the Little Drop brush. I've got the beautiful Butterfly. And I've also got the Paint Pal Lux Swirl 3 that I'll be using today. In addition to those colors and supplies, uh, I have a regular sort of uh, palette over here. It's got a different uh, kind of a mix of different brands and stuff like that. And if you are uh, just starting your face painting journey or um, wherever you're at, if you want to pick up this how to build your first face painting starter kit guide, you can do that at rayfaceart.com forward slash learn. Um, goes through my journey on how I kind of leveled up my kit from something like this to this um, to what I have now. So um, if that's helpful for you, you guys can pick that up over at the website. All right, you guys, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is I am going to, um, uh, it's kind of off camera, so I'm going to, I have a pearl white, so I'm just going to take a teardrop sponge. I already have uh, been working with it. So I'm gonna use the rounded edge of it um, over here and I'm just going to load it in with this pearl white that I've got. I love this white. I can't remember what the brand is that I have in here at the moment, um, but it's just really pretty and shimmery. I don't know if you guys can get a sense of that. Um, but it's just a really soft white. I love it for muzzles um, and it blends really well as well. So anyway, what we're going to do, so zoom in here and if I need to adjust this a little bit, let's pull it down. Let's see. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sponge um, a little muzzle on this guy. And for bunny muzzles, I mean, they're, oh, they've are they got the cute puffy little cheeks. So we're going to make sure that those are nice and rounded. And then we'll just blend up the top. So you can kind of blend it into the eyes, uh, but just try to blend out any hard edges that you have. Okay, make sense? So there we go, that's step one, to lay a little base layer of, um, of white. You could use a regular white as well, 
Um, I just find that this one works best. So, all right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach for that little drop brush and I'm gonna come over here to my light blue and I'm gonna spritz that, load up my brush. And we are going to come back to this guy. And essentially what we're gonna do is we are going to put, we're gonna kind of work on this, uh, putting everything, this is the focal point right here. And so we need to create two little triangles. They don't have to be very long. But we're just gonna create two little triangles here above the eyebrows, and then we're just gonna fill them in. I'm gonna grab just a little bit more paint off to the side here. Okay, so there we go. We got that started. Now, if you have a dry brush or even you can even um, just go back to that petal sponge that you or the other sponge that you were working on, if you wanna blend it a little bit, just to get a little bit more even coverage in the middle there, um, you can certainly do that with a dry sponge or that that one. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and reach for my big drop brush. And you could do this with the little drop brush as well, but if you're um, if this is, you know, on the job then if you can kind of pick up a new brush um, sometimes rather than rinsing in between um, that can just save a little bit of time. So all right, so we are just going to create a flat little area up here. And then we're gonna go down with it. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here, just a little flat. And then we're gonna go down like this. All right. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit more white. And essentially, I'm just going to start making the ear here, just like that. And then you can rough up the edges if you want to make it look a little furry. And then you use the toe of your brush to come down like this. And then that makes a quick ear all right, same thing over here. I'm gonna kind of do the center of, you know, I kind of start out like with the center of the ear in mind. So I'm gonna set the center of my ear is gonna be like right here. You're just gonna drag it up. Now, obviously you're gonna be working, you know, every little kid has different real estate on their, on their face. So um, you'll have to adjust this on the job, but we're gonna come up here and like this, just like that. And then again, you can rough up the edges if you want it to have furry looking ears. All right, we're gonna set the white aside for a second. I'm gonna pull out my beautiful butterfly and it's time to work on that um, Artie Brush Cake, which is Blue Bonnet. So off camera, I'm just gonna give it a couple spritz with my Mr. Bottle and I'm gonna dampen my um, I'm going to dampen my brush and then blot it on a towel. So my brush is damp but not super wet. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up um, a little bit of the white, a little bit of the white, um, the middle color, and then the darker color on the outside. So I'm going to try to pick up like three, three colors here. I'm going to give it one more mist to load it up. And then essentially what we're going to do for this little bunny hair is we're just going to make some small little strokes like this. And if you need to go back over it, it's no big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my brush again. And now I have basically an outline to work with. So I'm going to come back in here.
and make my little bunny hair. Perfect. Now if also here, if you wanted to blend it down with a, um, a dry sponge, you could kind of take the edges of that and just blend it down into the nose, but that's up to you, not necessary. Okay, so I'm going to, so on this bunny over here, I think you can see it in the frame. On this bunny over here, I did a flat, um, I just did like a flat blue nose, but we're gonna go ahead and try um, just doing, we're gonna pick up this teal and the darker teal, and we're just gonna see what that looks like. So here, I'm just going to kind of do something like this and kind of make an egg-shaped little nose. So that's kind of cute. Gives it a, just a little bit of dimension. All right, finally, we're gonna go ahead and grab that Lux Swirl 3 and I'm gonna pull in some of that tag regular black. I'm gonna mist it off camera here. And then we're just gonna do some basic outlining. Now, if you had um, you know, a darker blue that would be good for outlining, um, you could do that as well. And so here on the ear over, over here, and I know my hand is gonna be in the way a little bit, um, I'm just going to go down a little bit on the one side and over here. And then So as you may notice, I'm not doing all of the, I'm not totally outlining the ears. I kind of just want to give it a little bit of dimension, a little bit of separation so that we're, you can tell where maybe a wrinkle is or um, uh, where the fold is in the ear. So that's what we're doing. We're just kind of giving the eye some lines to follow. And then just reloading here. We're gonna do this side as well. And then we'll go ahead and outline his nose. If this is um, if you're new to face painting, if you're new to line work um, on Wiggly Kids, the um, best two pieces of advice that I can give you is that A, you have to have um, really good quality. That doesn't necessarily mean expensive, but you have to have good quality paintbrushes. And then um, you need to work perpendicular to the surface that you're working on to have the most control over the, um, the line. Sorry, it's hard for me to do line work and talk at the same time. Um, but I will show you what that looks like on my arm in just a second so that you can kind of get a sense. All right, so down here, I'm just gonna do a small little V just to give that illusion that those are um, two little puff balls. And then I'm gonna do some dots. You could do um, whiskers there as well. I kind of usually, I, I tend to pick one or the other dots or whiskers um, just to keep things simple, but that's just kind of my style. This little guy over here has some freckles, um, so we can go ahead and add those on as well. I'll just grab my tag regular white, and to make dots, what you want to do is um, load up your brush. I got a little bit too much water on here. You want creamy consistency, and I know that the light really blows this out, so I apologize for that, but um, 
you want to load up your brush and get kind of a good creamy consistency and then you want to roll the paint off of it and you'll get a little puddle and then you almost create kind of a ballpoint pen for yourself and it makes really nice symmetrical dots for the most part. So um, back to line work, I'll show you guys real quick on the arm. So we'll do the, uh, we'll do the dots. I'm going to roll it off. Oops, not quite loaded enough. I'm going to roll it off and then press the tip of my brush down. Can you guys even see that? Let me move it to a different area of my arm. All right, let's go over here. So there you can go get some nice um, dots. This is a pretty fine brush, so it uh, might be a little bit hard to see. And then when you're doing line work, you want to make sure that your brush is perpendicular to your work surface. I'm tilting it right now so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, but you want to make sure your brush is perpendicular so that you can make the different lines that you need. And the four common ones that uh, the face painters like to do is we like to do these starbursts. My paint is getting a little dry here, hold on. We like to do starbursts like this. We like to do dots. We like to do teardrops, which is essentially just pushing your brush down and dragging it. But we really like to do the curved ones like this. So dots, stars, teardrops, and then of course um, we often do um, swirls. So we'll do something, you know, like that. And then put some teardrops on the side. Okay, so anyway, there's a quick tutorial on um, line work. But this guy is pretty much done. Um, I'll just clean up the lip here a little bit. Like I said, if um, you are looking for supplies and starting your own kit and you kind of want to budget it out, head on over to rayfaceart.com forward slash learn and get this how to build your first face painting um, starter kit guide. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day um, whenever you're watching this, wherever you're watching this. And uh, if you could leave me a comment, go ahead. That would be awesome. Happy to hear uh, comments and suggestions on what you might want to see next. And otherwise, you guys have a wonderful day and we'll catch you in the next one. All right, take care.